Welcome to PC Woods Kids Tech Talk. Today we're looking at the Patriot Torque X 64 GB SSD drive. Previously, I had installed it in the Patriot Box Office Media Player. Today we're going to install it in a desktop PC. So here it is. As you can see, here is the attachment that it comes with. So you can install it in your desktop PC. If you don't want to, you can install it in a laptop also. But today for the test system, we're going to be putting it in one of my rigs. And um, here are some of the stats if you're wondering. The most important stats that I look at are what is the support, what is this, the uh, read and write speed, so 220 megabytes per second on read, as you can see there, and what are the types of support that this drive has and the any limitations. Okay, so those are things to take a look into. Now, when you go to install one of these, it's pretty standard. It has a couple of screws there that you need to attach to this bracket, and then that bracket then installs inside of your standard desktop PC, okay, because that's a standard size, the width here. But uh, the main thing is that it comes with it, so you don't have to worry about that. So that's pretty nice. Also, with a jumper, it comes with a jumper if you want to upgrade the firmware. Okay, so you just go to the uh, Patriot website, download the firmware, download the instructions, and follow those to install it. So it's pretty straightforward as well. Now, taking a look at this uh, drive now installed in my desktop PC. So I've already installed this, attached the screws in there, put it in my desktop PC. Here are all of the components just for your information so you know what I'm running this and testing it on. If you wanted to see a review on any of these items, just click on the image here on one of these and it'll take you directly to the review for that. Now, when I install this in Windows 7, what I'm looking for are the advertised speeds and checking whether or not it meets um, and, and exceeds those. And the Patriot, as you can see here, has very good read results above the advertised amount. So this was above average, very nicely done here on the read speeds compared to the OCZ um, SSD drive which I also have installed on the same machine. There are some benchmarks that maybe the OCZ does a little bit better but overall overall when I tested the read and write the Patriot did much better obviously than the OCZ and much better also than a 500 gig Western Digital Caviar Blue Drive which I also have installed in here for testing purposes. So here are the results on the sequential read and write Okay, the read results are on the left, the write results are on the, uh, on the right, and uh, here are the OCZ, Agility uh, SSD results. Overall, like I said, the uh, Patriot was faster, uh, definitely on the read. Not as fast on the, on the write though, uh, but overall it was faster, and definitely faster than a hard drive for sure. So if you're going to get a drive like this, definitely recommend that you get it for your OS. So for Windows, you can install your Windows on there. You can install games, apps, stuff like that. You can do your video editing. Loading a crisis, okay, for those of you that do a lot of gaming, 35 seconds to load the game compared to maybe uh, up to a minute on a regular hard drive, right? And that's, of course, loading it the first time when you first launch the, uh, launch the game, not afterwards. After it's in memory, it loads faster. W loading Windows 7, 7 to 10 seconds. Copying a 700 megabyte file, 2.4 seconds from my Western Digital Drive over to the SSD Patriot Drive. So very fast results as you can see here, copying things over. Definitely great for those doing video editing, using Adobe products um, and stuff like that. Now, I did some more benchmarks in PCMark Vantage to try to compare where does this uh, lie. And as you can see, it's much faster in the results than a Western Digital than the OCZ but not as fast as the Intel top of the line drive, but definitely it's it's getting there and it's very good, very good results. I was impressed. Um, why would you uh, want to use a drive like this? Like I said, I, I like to use it as a Windows uh, boot drive. You know, don't install any anything on it, just the Windows operating system so that it loads in seven seconds. Everything is basically instant, fast. It's slim. It's uh, low power usage. I can, um, I can maybe copy entire movies on there and just play play a movie that I have uh, off of instead of playing it off of the DVD I can play it right off of uh, off of the hard drive so many many different usages and advantages to um, to installing uh, one SSD drive like this one here okay and of course there are different sizes you can get it in 64 GB you can get it in 128 256 512 so different sizes that uh, Patriot has to offer for this uh, drive what I love about it like I said is that it's slim, low power usage, no moving parts. You don't even need to defrag the drive, believe it or not. You don't even need to defrag anymore. So lots of advantages here for using it, and I definitely recommend it. Thank you, uh, Patriot, for providing it, and I hope you enjoyed this video. 
and thank you for watching.